Hello, hello, how are you doing? The name is Chef, the comic chef, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's my honor to see you all, okay? Yeah. Anyway, so today um, I am cooking the uh, Japanese style uh, uh, miso flavored oyster hot pot. So I already began a few minutes ago, all right? Because the uh, if I sh showing the uh, preparation, it's gonna take some time. So anyway, so I'm gonna show you, all right? So what do we have here? So okay, uh, huh? Voila! Okay, so right now I have what do we have here? So all right, so. I'm gonna turn this down. So I have some uh, two pounds of oysters. Okay. Now this one's previously frozen, so uh, already I'm gonna uh, show you. You can go to the other video clips that I, I'll be putting, right? And then I think it's called mizu, uh, mizuna uh, 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 leaves. The, I think it's called a pot herb. I think. Yeah. And then the uh, king oyster mushrooms, uh, shiitake mushrooms, uh, onions. Uh, fried tofus now uh, let's see these veggies uh, are organically certified okay and then of course I'm going to add at the end I'm going to add the uh, already grated organic garlic and organic ginger it's already you know uh, squished not squished the uh, not grinded but uh, yeah anyway so already made into smaller pieces yeah okay Okay. Yeah, I already did that. And then uh, uh, I'm going to add this the pesticide-free uh, fish stocks. Okay, so those if you don't have any fish stocks, uh, what you can do you can it can be substituted either uh, veggie stocks or chicken stocks. But make sure there is no additives or pesticides, any other naughty stuffs. Right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So then. Uh, those of you who are not familiar how to distinguish the organically certified or not. So now, uh, I am at the uh, 727 size tiny you know, office cabin. So uh, that's why you know, it's kind of, uh, it doesn't look good. You know, the kitchen doesn't look good, but I just wanted to show you. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so I better close this one, right? So, okay, so as you clearly see that, uh, now, uh, it's like a, uh, I think Japanese agriculture standards, which is similar to the uh, USDA organic, right? So if you see, when you see that, check there are any labels or certifications. But even though you need to double check where is these ingredients uh, are coming from, right? Because I heard something that, uh, uh, anyway, so you have to do your own research uh, before you're gonna believe what I'm going to say, it, right? So, and then uh, I'll be a at the end. I'll be adding the organically certified miso paste. Yeah. Okay. And then what else? What do we have here? So, some those of you wanna be slightly spicier, that you can add the organic habanero. No, no, uh, jalapeno. Excuse me. So. It says medium hot. To me, it's super mild. Okay, so yeah. Right, so uh, I also I've already added prior to shooting this video. I've already added the uh, Niigata. Is that Niigata sake? Uh, wait a sec. Wait a minute. Uh, ch -ch 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 yeah, it's a Niigata sake, right? Those are hard to find. Yeah, so. Those of you who don't have the access to buying sake, you can it can be substituted with the, the vodka or gin or uh, you know boozers of your choice. Okay, so okay, so now hmm, it's out. It's, it's kind of hot at this moment, Sam. All right, so um, I didn't add water because I. Uh, um, you're getting the uh, liquid f liquid from the ingredient itself like uh, oysters uh, and vegetables right so since these are the organic vegetables so you, you, you're gonna get the uh, maximum amount of phytonutrients now those of you who don't have the uh, access to get 
organic vegetables for whatever reasons I encourage you to um, uh, search uh, and how to detoxicate the uh, pesticides ridden veggies right so uh, which I am going to post it on BitChute okay so you're gonna see the descriptions below oh one more thing right whoa so those of you are new uh, please subscribe okay and then press the thumbs up button all right not this this right this okay so you like it so you press the like button and then I strongly recommend uh, ring the bell right uh, all right, so it's like uh, no not this one right Jeez. okay sorry so that you won't be missing the uh, you, you won't miss the forthcoming wonderful cooking shows. All right? Okay. All right, so. Yeah. It's not bad. So, uh, now, uh, this one I have here is the uh, Made by Amway, right? Uh, the American one. And stainless steel cooking pan. I think it's the, this one's called Amway Queen Cookware. For some markets in the North American market, I believe it's called Amway I Cook. So you can do your own research. Uh, I use this because my favorite one. Now, good thing is this one is it's not record. This one is using induction range oven. Now, if you want to use gas or uh, what else, uh, regular electric, that is fine too. Anyway, the good thing is you don't because uh, it's made of stainless steel and. It has thicker stainless steel layer so that it doesn't require to cook with the super high heat once you see the boiling you get lower down not now but to maybe medium right now it's eight out of ten so I would say it's the medium high heat yeah so uh, I'm not here to demonstrating about uh, this cookware but the good thing is this is the uh, once the uh, what can I say those of you are the uh, airline or aircraft engineers you probably can understand this so the once the water moist or, or vaporization kicks in you're gonna get the uh, uh, the moist you're gonna the moist becoming like a gasket between two stainless steels it's called I think it's called the labyrinth seal of the jet engine kind of thing right so you can do research all right so well, yeah now those now those of you don't have the stainless steel cookware like this it doesn't have to be the you uh, know wok it can be used you can use other frying pans or uh regular saucepans whoa wonderful huh anyway so i I do not recommend to use uh, what could I call the non-stick pans or Teflon coated because it might be received PFOA or other naughty stuffs, right? So I strongly recommend either stainless steel, glass, clay pot. All right. Uh, now those of you have the uh, powder coated one. Now I forgot the name, but I know what I'm talking about. So the only problem is, so you cannot use it once it start cracking because the aluminium stock or aluminium flavor might be coming to the soup. So you don't want that. So, okay, so please do your research. Okay, so I'm not here to talk about this too long. So, okay, so what do we have here? Huh? Okay. Ooh, what? It's not bad, isn't it? Yeah. Right, but I'm gonna close this baby. So, okay, yeah. So maybe it's time to add the organic uh, soybean paste, yeah, miso paste. Yeah. So now, those of you in the United States or Canada, please check the uh, you know USDA organic certifications, or you, those of you in Europe has a similar one as well, right? So. Boom. Okay, so I'm gonna add uh, one tablespoon of miso paste because miso fermented beans, right, has the uh, 
probiotic stuff. Those are beautiful. Yeah. Right, so. God, where's my spoons? Hmm. Ah, here. Okay, okay, okay. Got, 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 got. So, you just watch. I'm gonna, maybe I shouldn't talk too much, but I apologize. Anyway, so. Uh, ooh la la, ooh la la. Not bad, right? Not to be confused, this is a sea urchin or uni. Uh, I mean, if you want to put at uni, I mean, that's most welcome, but it's going to cost tons of money, but that's okay. Yeah, how do you afford it, right, sir? So, okay. Then, I am going to add. I know this is unorthodox way to do that, but I'm just going to do it anyway, okay, so. If you have a strainer, that's even better, but eh, I, I didn't, uh, I don't have it with me right now because, like I said, it's, you know, it's like a 727 aircraft kind of, uh, you know, cabin kind of, uh, uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. These onions are awesome. Woo! Look at that, huh? So good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry I've been cooking in front of you like this because it's called the, uh, you know, chef's privilege. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, smells good. I wish our microphones are coming with the, uh, you know, the fragrance stuff, right? Maybe in future? Who knows? Okay. Yeah. See how it tastes like. Mmm. It's very sweet. Awesome. I can taste the oyster itself. And, uh, oh, you know what? I better add some. Did I add fish stocks? Uh, oh, no, I didn't. You don't have to, but I just want the thicker taste, okay? So, those of you who don't want to add, that's okay. You may add just water or not adding anything at all. Okay, so. Anyway, and then, now, here I can close this for now. Then you wash it, so. Yeah. So exciting, isn't it? Um, trying to think so uh, maybe next time I might be cooking either hmm you can if you want something you know any types of Japanese food you wish to eat or you want me to cook just let me know you know so you can just put some comments okay so uh, okay well only one exception I am NOT going to cook the fugu, what was that? Uh, puffer fish, you know, it's the bloody poisonous one because I don't have the license, you know. Uh, it's like uh, hiring a taxi driver uh, without a uh, driver's license. You don't want that, don't you? Yeah, okay, so that's why. So other than that, I am sure I can do most of them. Yeah, so I'm, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a nutrition coaching kind of thing. I'm amateur nutrition coach. So I, so I try to give you the world how to cook the cleanest the cleanest cleanest meal right so that's you know I love doing that because I want all of you to stay healthy and I just want all of you to have a wonderful life right but in order to do that we need to maintain our body right okay okay yeah so it's kind of burnt I mean I think it's called Vita Lock, right? But anyway. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, the uh, you may do your research uh, here. The garlics or gingers, it's it acts like a you know herbal medicine kind of thing, right? But you can 
search on your own okay so before you uh, believe what I'm saying always double check okay because I just want you to study before okay so oh, oh la la so what do we have here so we have 12 minutes left but so usually with if you use the reg in my ex own experiences the uh, if you use the regular cookwares right the thinner uh, frying pan or uh, saucepan it takes maybe an hour or an hour and 10 minutes but this one must be taking less than you know grand total uh, now excluding preparations right takes less than 30 minutes to get cooked it's kind of speedy that's why I love this gadget yeah so mm. jeez unbelievable it smells darn good mmm I wish I can hand deliver this one you know, to the viewers, right? <laughs> That's how I can feel sometimes, right? So, <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Smells good. You smell that? It's not bad, right? Yeah. So, this is. So, let me taste the. Let me take a look at the oysters because because this this is frozen you don't want rare or medium rare oysters because oysters are the uh, filter feeder so you, so just make sure you got make sure you cook thoroughly okay unless you are shocking your own fresh oyster that's a different story but even though you need to double check so if you have any doubt uh, talk to the fishmonger right so this is what we have here. All right. Huh? Mm. 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 Okay. It's good. Not bad. Okay. So, the, the last final point, I'm going to add fresh ginger, uh, organic ginger, garlic, dilute with sake, which I just did, right, sir? I mean, if you don't want to add garlic, that is fine. You know, I just love garlics and gingers. Yeah, because I just love, I love it, period. Okay, yeah. All right. You know what? Let me taste this. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to add. It's the final point. Okay, so just here. Yeah. Yeah, it's ready to eat, so I just gonna close the lid and let it boil maybe just for uh, maybe 30 seconds or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Meanwhile. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sounds good, huh? Did you hear that? The sound. Yeah, I'm not a drummer, I'm sorry, but I just did it, right? <laughs> well, well, well. Now it's time to eat. It's time to dig in. So, I'm, okay, so now I smell the um, so miso paste, garlic, and ginger. And, uh, oh, you know what? I forgot one thing. It's organic habanero sauce, yeah? Like this, huh? Mm. <sighs> Just joking, don't try it at home, okay? Don't be like me, okay, so. Yeah, just gonna lower it down, yeah. Yeah, four out of 10 is good. You know, medium low. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Mmm, so sweet. Mm. Okay. So now it's ready to dig in. Okay. Just make sure. Yeah. So. Alright. I don't know. Someday 
viewers and I might be eating at some place, maybe Tokyo, New York, Rome, yeah, maybe Bangkok, I don't know, yeah, or maybe Vatican City. <laughs> So here's the oysters. Yeah. Then so. yeah. Dark. Okay, it's so fried tofu. Yeah, make sure you eat put some miso soup and some Greens. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, ouch. Pain is beautiful. No. Okay. I love yeah. Mushrooms. Who doesn't, right? Yeah. I mean you can add virtually anything, like shrimp or mussels, chicken, beef lamb you name it okay uh, you know what I'm gonna add some onions the Okinawan onion yeah I forgot to tell you so if you go to Okinawa there's this place you can get the organic certified onions and those are lovely and I'm just gonna turn this baby off okay so Ooh, wow it's like the uh, French onion soup the onions are it's kind of melting <laughs> amazing wow you know, the garlic is not melted you know. what's that i forgot the movie i watched the movie yeah good fellas right so don't put too much garlic and then somebody did it right so anyway so maybe i shouldn't talk too much about it so. okay so here the moment of proof so here is the yeah Miso flavored oyster hot pot. Cheers. Uh, okay, so, so Julian gingers that I forgot to tell you. Mmm, it's good. Mmm, it's amazing. Praise the Lord, right? Lord have mercy. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. This is awesome. Yeah. Next time I do it with fr freshly chucked, uh, shucked ginger, I mean, not ginger, oysters, right? This one I use the uh, frozen oysters. Yeah, imported for South Korea, I think. But yeah, they got the colder water, so no wonder oysters are good, right? So you wanna buy that oyster harvested in colder water. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, so. Mmm. Mmm. Too bad. I wish I can eat this one with you all, right? But I do apologize. I've been eating in front of you like this because it's the uh, chef's privilege. Yeah, so it's my great honor. Okay, so. Mmm. Mm. It's kind of rich, but I'd rather be rich. Yeah, I mean, not only financially, but you know, the food-wise, right? So, stronger the flavor, you do better. Yeah. No offense, but. Hmm. Hmm. King oyster mushroom. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. This is good. Yeah, so try to get orga organic veggies as much as you can because if you are using the non-organic one, you are losing roughly 95% of the nutrition values com in comparison to organic ones. So you know, 
try to get organic one much as you can or you may might you may want to consider growing your own food right i mean veggies you can do that too yeah yeah it's not bad okay so before i gonna let you go i mean before i'm gonna end you know just gonna show you this oyster so before after right so beforehand the oyster was sized this much so two inches but now less than an inch okay so but this is good please try okay so you can try shrimp you know, scallops mussels be monkfish right so or uh what's that swordfish it's good yeah i love swordfish as well uh so a tofu yeah i forgot to show you so this fried tofu yeah it's made the highest ingredients yeah so it's not organic it's certified but this is good yeah mm. it's been soaked with oyster flavored soup yeah this is amazing fantastic yeah mm. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. God bless you all. All right. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write some comments down below. And uh, please subscribe and visit my Instagram page as, as, always, uh, as well as BitChute. All right. So uh, because some of the stuff are going to be uh, like a food preparations or how to detoxicate uh, stuff, you know, it's going to be BitChute and then please support okay and if you like this content please press the like button thumbs up yeah and then what was that ring the bell right so all right and subscribe button please okay so may almighty god bless you all right thank you very much you take care cheers to our great health and I want you, I want all of you to be healthier than ever. Thank you. Take care.